All right, if you've been watching our videos, you know we got a bunch of these gallery dioramas. Diamond Select Toys. These coming in at about 60 bucks. Nice level of detail. This one's got a pretty sweet looking base. I'm a little concerned with the portrait just looking through that window. Steven, it was so good. Fine tip, Creative Studio. On the front of the box, you have the window of Dr. Strange. It says, Dr. Strange, Multiverse of Madness, Marvel Studios. And then as you move to the back, you got an image of the statue. You got a bio there. Let's us know it's Dr. Strange from the Multiverse of Madness, sculpted by Gentle Giant Studios. You know, the portrait on the back of the box looks really good. I hope ours is close to that. Let's go ahead and get it out of the box. First impressions, really nice execution on the whole base itself. You have a really dynamic pose where he's opening a portal, walking through it. There's like a weird smoke going around him with those speckles of white to give it that cool magic effect where it's flickering. The base looks great. Really nice presence with this big arcing portal that he's opening up. The sculpting and everything looks really good. Uh, that portrait. Let me look at it. <laughs> I think someone sees what they're painting. Everything this. looks pretty good. The paint could be better. And then especially those eyes are like <laughs> Let's go ahead and start the review with the base that goes up and over as well. Really nice how they incorporated him opening the portal and walking through it so you have the cool magic effect. And you have little parts from the side going around him where you get, it slowly transitions from this dark red into this more vibrant orange with little speckles of like yellow to give that cool flickering effect you see in the movie. Yeah, the base from the bottom is cool because you got this movement actually coming out to the left and the right on the back. And then you got this nice portal that comes up and over. It's like a clear plastic material and it's got some speckles of color as well. It's a nice hard plastic. It doesn't bend at all. Whereas like the plastic on the cape has some more flexibility to it. And then moving up into the figure, starting on the back of the cape, it looks really good. You got a ton of details sculpted into this cape. The cape is always saving people and flying all over the He has so much personality too. He's like a little bit sarcastic. I don't know if I, I don't know if I'm reading into his play like, moving a little too much. But. No, I love the cape, but I was trying to look for the way the cape tears in this movie. It has the blue patch, but gets on this one up. it's missing. So it must be taken from a scene before it gets torn. And then moving to the front, the actual underside of the cape has a lot more black in it, which maybe is just part of the fact that it's coming through a portal. Um, it's a lot darker, which I kind of like because it doesn't draw right. away from the figure. The sculpting in it looks really good though. As you move up the boots, you can see all kinds of nice sculpted details in the pants. And then moving up into his like torso area has got this four or five different layers of fabric. You can see right here that the actual thing that we see Ned using in Spider-Man No Way Home where right. he's opening the portal with it. You can see he has that attached. Nice paint job too. You've got silvers and like bronze colors. You've got some blues coming up. You have some nice weathering and like different shading on the outfit as well. Yeah, the sculpt and the paint on his torso looks really good. As you move out into the arms, again, more wrinkles in the fabric, painted well. You've got these guards along his wrists that look like leather, sculpted well. I just made like eye contact with <laughs> Steven. It was, it was like... <laughs> look at his face and he's like... <laughs> well, finishing up with the cape, you can see on the shoulders and then moving into the collar, nice movement there. Dynamic sculpting going on in the fabric. You can also see he has the eye of Agimoto on his chest right there. It's not open, but you can see the details where you can see different segments of it, where you can see the actual center that usually opens up to show the eye. And then moving on to the portrait, Probably my least favorite part of this piece. It's sculpted pretty well. You can see the definition of the face looks good. Goatee, his mustache, nose, even the hair on him is sculpted well, but the paint job is not that good. It's the only thing that's really throwing me off is the eyes. Well, yeah, the paint in the eyes is definitely off. You can see his left eye is kinked way over. And you also have these like red areas, like if he has pink eye, he looks bloodshot. So. Yeah, there's a little too much red around the eyes. Same with the lips. From a distance on the shelf, right, he's still gonna look awesome like Doctor Strange. Up close, it could be better. <laughs> Just look at him face on. <laughs> <laughs> the height comes in at about 10 inches and the base Seven? is about six inches. So the footprint on this isn't too bad. We actually just recently did this WandaVision gallery diorama as well. Looks really good. See the likeness on this portrait Amazing. is fantastic. The paint looks great. They also got the deluxe gallery dioramas. Ooh. Like this Venom pool. Which is this great is about like 125 bucks. 
And then you got the Immortal Hulk. Actually, we're just draining the shelves like across the table. It's like he's grabbing them by the head and about to smash. Uh, we love these gallery dioramas from Diamond Select Toys. If you want to add this uh, Doctor Strange to your collection or any of these other ones, check for links in our description. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time. Fine Tip Creative Studio.